In this question we have to decide whether the ice blocks will reach C. Since there is friction between A and B, there will be some energy dissipated while the blocks are traveling from A to B. Let's find this energy dissipated. To do so, we will combine these two equations from subtopics 2.2 and 2.3, where Fd is dynamic friction force, mu d is the coefficient of dynamic friction, r is the normal reaction force, w is work done, f is force, s is distance traveled, and theta is the angle between the direction of the force and the distance traveled. The energy dissipated between A and B is equal to the work done by the dynamic friction force. So in the next step, I will replace F in the second equation by mu d r. Let's write this down. So we get mu d r times S times cosine. And here I will substitute zero degrees for theta, since the dynamic friction force and the distance traveled are in the same direction, which means that the angle between them is zero degrees. Since the blocks don't move vertically, the normal reaction force is equal to the weight of the block. This means that I can replace R by the weight, giving me mu d times the weight, so mg, multiplied by s. Since cosine zero is equal to one, I can just omit it from the equation. Let's substitute, so we get 0 0.03 times 55 multiplied by g, which is the gravitational acceleration and which can be found in the fundamental constant section of the data booklet and is 9.81 multiplied by 2. This gives us approximately 32.4 joules for the energy dissipated between point A and B. Next, let's find EB, the energy of the block, at B. This is equal to the energy at A, so EA, minus the energy dissipated, so EDIS. EA was given to be 670 joules in question part A1, minus EDIS, which is 32.4 joules. This is equal to 637.6 joules. So this is the kinetic energy of the block when it reaches point B. Next, let's calculate E, B to C, the energy needed for the block to move from point B to point C. To do this, we are going to use this equation from subtopic 2.3, where EP is gravitational potential energy, M is mass, G is the gravitational acceleration, and H is height. Substituting, we get 55, times 9.81 multiplied by 1.2, which gives us approximately 647.5 joules. So this is the energy needed for the block to move from point B to point C. From our calculations, we can see that the energy needed to move from B to C, so 647.5, is larger than the energy that the block has at B, so 637.6. Based on this, we can conclude that the block will not reach C. In order to earn the two marks on this question, it is important to show your reasoning and conclude that the block will not reach C. Simply writing down that the block will not reach C will not earn any marks.